Bain really helped me with three critical points of understanding that ultimately had much to do with our success. The first is they helped me understand the fact that my early Empower Auto software needed to go away. Needed to go away. And, and I said, wait a minute, I don't, uh, I don't think it should go away because now that I have this, this new software, which we call V-Auto, which told them how to price the vehicle, okay, I should run them both. They, they should have Empower Auto to learn how to properly buy so as not to overpay, and they should have the V-Auto software to learn how to, how to price the car so that it would sell quickly. And they said, not so fast. They said that Empower Auto software is really hard to sell. And haven't you noticed this V Auto software is very appealing to these people? Well, I wasn't ready to give up because I knew what my dad had told me that having success in used cars really required you know, getting both ends right, buying them right and pricing them right. And now really what they wanted me to do, they wanted me to give up on that, on that, on that buying it right side. And you really have to appreciate as a creator, as an entrepreneur, that, that that idea that you have is like your child. You know, you brought that idea into the world. It's your baby, it's your child. Everything you have intellectually is tied up in that thing. So to give that up, would be like you know telling my dad you're wrong I wasn't you know ready to do that and they said no you have to appreciate the fact that as an entrepreneur you know as a commercial entrepreneur you have to appreciate the fact that it's seldom right it's or excuse me it's seldom the case that you get it right commercially out of the gate in fact it's more often the case that you don't get it right you build a product like I had done with Empower Auto you take it out to the market and you find out what's wrong with it you find out what it needs to be that it's not and you have to be able to pivot you have to be able to let go you have to be able to make a transition you know to the new thing that you figure out or fix the product and sort of give up on the old so they helped me come to that very difficult point of understanding that that Empower Auto software and, and idea that you had to buy them right really needed to go away. It was a hard decision for me, a hard place of understanding to come to, but they helped me arrive at that point of understanding. And my luck at that moment was that um, I got a book, and that book was Moneyball by Michael Lewis. And uh, was the story of Billy Bean and the Oakland A's, and you know probably many of you have, have seen the movie or read the book, and if you have, you understand the basic story there was that that Billy Bean took an old industry baseball that had very long-standing, unquestioned assumptions of what sort of attributes of play mattered, and Billy Bean through data really said no you know what some of those old metrics of player performance really don't translate are not most correlated to success there are other metrics so he really redefined you know what what determines success on, on in terms of player performance by using data to determine that they were in many cases were not the traditional uh, metrics of, of player performance but rather new and different ones so I read that book and it spoke to me and it occurred to me, you know what, this is exactly what I'm doing in the industry. I'm trying to tell a really old industry that the way that they used to make decisions about used vehicles were really not well correlated to the outcome in this new digital, transparent, efficient environment. They need to start using new metrics and by God, my software has those new metrics. And, and I, you know, I, you got to appreciate the, the maturations that an entrepreneur goes through. There was a moment in time where I thought, I thought that there was something divine going on. I thought that Michael Lewis wrote that book for me. Now I'll tell you, I subsequently have met Michael Lewis, I've had dinner with Michael Lewis, I told Michael Lewis, I think you wrote that book for me. He said, no Dale, let me assure you, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> but I was sure at the time that book was meant for me. So I told my Bain Venture Capital partners, I said, I know what to do. I'm not going to take your money. Hold your check. I said, I'm going to write a book. And everybody's going to read my book and it's going to change an industry. And I remember very vividly, uh, you know, some of the smartest guys in the world up there at Bain Venture Capital. And they said, no, Dale, that's really not a very good idea. In fact, that's a really dumb idea. <laughs> Well, I think the decision to let loose of Empower Auto was a very difficult one for me personally and emotionally, but I had plenty of uh, real-world evidence 
to support the fact that uh, it wasn't easy to sell and it wasn't uh, successful. So although it was emotionally and intellectually difficult, um, I had practical experience that was supporting, I think, the correctness of, of that advice. Um, as far as writing the book is concerned, um, you know, I had not written a book and it failed. <laughs> so, um, you know, there was no past experience that I could draw on to say that their advice of not writing a book uh, wouldn't work. But uh, it was just one of those situations where uh, I, was, uh, I was just convinced, just convinced by any doubt that uh, the lessons that I had drawn from the Moneyball um, book uh, were uh, similar to my circumstances and that people needed to know. They needed to know and I was having uh, such great difficulty in getting my message out there. So I felt that, uh, that if I wrote a book um, and it connected properly, it would just be you know, a, a lark if it worked, but it would be you know, very highly successful if it did. So uh, it seemed, in, on my part, it seemed like a relatively low cost investment of time um, and money to potentially have a large impact. So I bet on it, and it just happened to be one of those bets that won.